parts to you for cars and trucks, small engines too. The do it yourselfers and the pros say Carter Automotive is the place to go for sound advice. The brands you like, the professional's choice is true. Carter Automotive, Carter Automotive, we're parts to you. Good morning. We welcome you to uh, Carter Automotive, Ask the Expert. And with us today, we have a uh, special in-studio guest. Uh, we have Tim Key. Hi, Tim. How are you? Hi, John. How's it going? I don't know about the expert part. <laughs> well, more so than me. I, I, I do have to tell this story. Uh, being uh, mechanically inclined or not inclined the way I am, I once had a pickup truck that was running perfectly fine that I thought, well, if I tune it up, I can get better gas mileage. And six months later, I got it started again. Oh, well. <laughs> That's a great start. <laughs> but uh, uh, I, I know you're much more, that makes you an expert. Well, I would hope. I would hope so. I come from a technical family, but I was the only non-technical one as, in the bunch. So uh, starting out at the age of 14 in the world of auto parts, I had to learn to become technical pretty fast. Yeah, you've been around it for a long time. I have, and I think, I, I think I've picked up a few tips over the years, and I certainly have picked up uh, many ideas and skills since working at Carter Automotive. Well, and good. That's well, we a fact. Hope you'll share some of those with us this morning. You know, it's uh, uh, weather's kind of odd. You know, it's, it's kind of balmy out there. Uh, well, if it wasn't for the fog, I think we wouldn't have any room to complain at all. It's so nice out. That's uh, right. But we have had our share of cold weather, which reminds me, winter is right around the corner. And uh, uh, that, that colder weather means some uh, some different things. Uh, what are some of the type of things that uh, people need to be thinking about as far as winterizing their car and prepping themselves for that cold weather. Well, you know, uh, in the last two instances of cold weather that which had, it's like a giant switch had been turned, and it got cold suddenly very fast. And the time before last was when we had a, a bit of snow, if you'll remember. Yeah. It right. came up quite suddenly, and I found myself on the road to Bartlesville driving in the snow. And as usual, every year I have to kind of relearn retrain myself how to drive in the snow and that was kind of a crash course but as I was driving to Bartlesville I got to thinking about how prepared I was personally I thought well if I went off the road what would I do I mean if I had to wait here for some period of time for help what would I do would I be prepared and you know what I don't think I was so I started thinking about preparedness and personal preparedness in an automobile and then also ways of preparing your vehicle now, what I was thinking about as far as in your automobile, I think it's a good idea to have um, water in your car. Good point. During inclement weather, you know, when you can break down and have to be waiting along the side of the road for a long period of time, you might get a little thirsty. And I don't know about you, but the last time I tried drinking antifreeze, it just wasn't dirty. <laughs> Tastes great, but <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. It looks better than it does. <laughs> you know, that's a good point. I'm glad you mentioned that because that's not uh, something I would have thought of, and dehydration can be a very serious problem. Exactly, especially if you're, get, if you're out of the car trying to get unstuck. Uh, you uh, work up kind of a sweat. You could get kind of dehydrated very quickly. Now, you know, we may not have that here, but uh, back in the, uh, the 70s, I went to college up in Ohio. In the mid-70s, uh, a blizzard came through, dumped almost four feet of snow overnight, uh, ungodly winds, and there were stretches of the interstate, I-70 to be exact. Act, uh, where National Guard could not get the people for three days. Oh, uh, it could happen. And, and, you know, without supplies, they were in serious trouble. Oh, four years ago, driving to Spears, of all places. Not very far away on a clear day, but at night during a blizzard with mm -hmm. my windshield wipers icing up, I was a little scared. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that can happen. Another thing I was thinking about, you know, a lot of our cars have glove boxes, but I wonder how many people actually keep gloves in their glove box. I really think a pair of gloves this time of year is a good idea. Good point. And once again, gloves, we have them down at Carter Automotive. We can fix you up on that. Okay. Would um, you take my, the 40 or 50 pens that I have in my glove, glove box and dump them somewhere for me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the way mine is, too. It's all full. I think I've got about um, about 20 expired registrations in my glove box. 
<laughs> the last but not least on as far as being personally prepared in your car is um, perhaps not a bad idea, especially if you have a family, is warm blankets. Some way to keep warm in case you broke down in the middle of nowhere or become stuck in the middle of nowhere. And it's pretty cold out there. Of course, you can't keep your car running because you could gas yourself real easy that way. Right. So uh, warm blankets, is, I guess, is my uh, final offering for this subject. Got me also to thinking about, okay, let's let's move on to preparedness for your automobile. And hopefully, by this time, after listening to Daryl, that people have had their antifreeze tested by now. Mm-hmm. This is the time, folks, if you haven't had that done. You can buy an inexpensive antifreeze tester down at Carter Automotive, or you can buy a professional one. But the important thing is, is to get it done now before that sub-zero weather hits, and you have to find out the hard way exactly that your cooling system is not properly protected. Wash your fluid. That's another uh, another aspect of uh, things that you can do for your car. Normal washer fluid, which is a fine product, is good to about zero degrees. Mm-hmm. But during the very cold weather months, it's really advisable to have something a little bit more uh, has a, that has a little bit more protection. And at Carter's, we have a product called Purple Power Windshield Washer Fluid. Okay. Now, not only is this a great washer fluid for the normal grime on your windshield, it also de-ices and it protects your washer system down to minus 35 degrees. Wow. That should just about cover any Kansas, uh, Oklahoma weather, I would think. It's in the purple bottle, folks. It's Purple Power Windshield Washer Fluid available at Carter Automotive. You know, one thing about that, too, that makes me think, you know, the de-icing uh, component of it, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I always notice in the spring my wiper blades usually need change just from the, all the ice and so forth in the wintertime. So that could maybe uh, uh, maybe save the life of your wiper blades. It helps prolong them for sure. One of the hardest things about windshield washers, windshield wiper blades, a little off subject here, is just the inactivity of use during the summertime as they just sit there inactive. They take tend to dry out Mm -hmm. and they tend so might be advisable to replace your wiper blades before the season starts and that would be now an easy cheap fix that uh, as you say uh, driving in a blizzard at night uh, uh, between here and Caney on the highway uh, boy you'd sure like to have some real good wiper blades exactly you know while I'm on the subject of windshield washer fluid I just remembered we also now stock the Rain-X brand of windshield washer fluids so anybody out there looking for that we have the Rain-X brand also you might want to consider a little extra protection in the uh, with the oncoming season that will produce a lot of ice is have a can of de-icer in the car spray de-icer available at Carter Automotive this can help you when your windshield wipers um, uh, Uh, freeze up. Mm -hmm. It can also help you in the morning with cleaning your windshield and your glass on your car. Um, An ice scraper. We've got to make sure we have one of those in the car nowadays. And get it out of the trunk where you've been storing it all summer. You're going to need it soon. (laughs) When is the first day of winter? Is it like a... Uh, I believe it's the 21st, 20th or 21st of December. So it's a couple weeks away at the most. Hard to believe Uh, it's not here yet with some uh, of the weather we've had already. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, you know, you talk about the de-icer, too. Now, is that uh, the same product or a different product that y- 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 if you have frozen locks and, and doors, they, or is that a different product? They make that on a smaller scale. We also have uh, the a lock de-icer that comes in a small aerosol, uh, more pocket size uh, okay. dispenser, which is made to use in your locks. It's also a preventive measure. It's, not, it's something you could use when your locks are iced up, but it's also a good idea to squirt some of that into your lock as a preventive measure. Okay, uh, I did not know yeah, that. Yeah, so it's, we have that at Carter Automotive as well. As the fuel systems um, are used in the course of time, they develop uh, moisture in the fuel system. And uh, generally, unless you get a big dose of water at your local gas station, uh, this small amount of water in your fuel system really doesn't hurt anything until 
we are met with very cold situations and then that moisture in your fuel system can ice up once again preventative maintenance we have a product called heat a lot of people know what that is right but heat is a product that you should add routinely to your fuel in this time of year because it it's a fuel drying additive it dissipates the moisture in your fuel system which is very important and will keep you from icing up when we have severe winter weather okay now should months. you should you add that then each time uh, you you fill your tank or? either each time or every other time I'd probably say every other time or every third time okay uh, you don't want to overdo it but as long as you uh, uh, have periodic uh, adding of this uh, additive to your fuel system, you'll be in good shape. Don't want to put too much in, but uh, I'd say once with every second or third uh, fill up. Okay. That'd be okay. a good idea. Some, that, that, that's good advice for someone that me, like me, that believes more of everything is better. You yeah. know, more cholesterol. Yeah, I'll take another cheeseburger. Yeah, but, you uh, you know, so yeah, good advice. You can't overdo things. Sometimes. You can't. You can't. But uh, but de-icer by heat. Um, the. Uh, Diesel drivers out there will want to be particularly sensitive to problems with diesel fuel in cold weather. Uh, diesel fuel will um, do something called gelling. Right, I've heard about that, and I've never never had a diesel fuel ve fuel vehicle, but I have heard about the gelling effect of diesel. It's a product we sell a lot of. Uh, it we sell a lot of it. Uh, ironically, after it turns really cold, but it's a good idea to treat diesel fuel in advance to prevent gelling. Uh, to keep that problem at bay. And we have two different, we have a product by Howe, uh, the uh, Howe's Lubricator Diesel Treatment, or we also have the Power Service Diesel Fuel Additive at Carter Automotive. Okay, very good. You know, Tim, now, we, we were talking about the start of winter being a couple of weeks away. Well, of course, it's a few days after the start of winter is uh, Christmas itself. Now, I've seen you guys on Facebook. I'm, I'm a little bit of a Facebook guy, and I know that you've had some really good gift ideas uh, that you've had on Facebook. What, uh, I'm so relieved. I thought those. you were going to ask me about the Santa hat. <laughs> 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 you know, if you know me, you know I am Father Christmas, and I love the season. <laughs> <laughs> so I donned the Santa hat, and so did Carla down there. And you're going to see more of that. I have seen it. <laughs> we have a Facebook page, uh, folks. I just wanted to remind you out there. It's uh, uh, If you put in Carter Automotive, you will come up with our Facebook page. And we have uh, three or four very interesting posts a week. And... Uh, well, all I can say is I wish we had the Christmas music to cue because the spirit of Christmas is alive and well at Carter Auto Automotive. Yes, it is indeed. Like I said, I, I do, I, I've actually liked you guys on Facebook, so I see your posts. So they come up on my page. You know, and it, it's not only the best choice for parts, service, and automotive advice, but Carter Automotive is also your hometown one-stop Christmas gift shopping center. Unique gifts in a unique store. <laughs> <laughs> to begin with, well, we got we got a nice little new item down there. They call them LED safety flares. Okay. Now, you remember the old days, the uh, safety flares that looked like a stick of dynamite. You'd oh, strike, yeah. the, yeah. strike the end. You had a fire. Oh, my gosh. Blazing. One fire. <laughs> it was like... Uh, it was like uh, uh, the 4th of July, year-round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little round item made of plastic. Looks a little bit like a red hockey puck, but it's an LED safety flare, and uh, it is a it is surrounded by LED lights, huh. and it has a 50-hour run time. On the back is a swivel hook and a magnet, and it has five light patterns that you can change really? by pressing the button. So, say you're broke down. It's, it doesn't take up much space at all. You break down on the road. You get stuck on the side of the road. You can take this item out, stick it on the back of your car, set the LEDs to blinking, and you have a safety device that alerts people to your predicament that 
they can steer clear of you and won't run into you. Exactly. So. And, and with five different patterns, I imagine you could keep the kids amused as well. Oh, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. You know, uh, that we've been playing with them all week at the store. <laughs> of course, you know, as stocking stuffers, we have safety glasses in many styles and shades. We have a great selection of gloves. By well, you 40. mentioned gloves, too. Yeah. Uh, something you should have in your glove box. We have gloves for winter. We have cowhide work gloves, jerseys, knit gloves, driving gloves, mechanics gloves. We even have PVC hazardous material gloves that are very helpful on that Christmas morning. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now the the most the biggest item we have this year and the thing we're most proud of with the Christmas season in mind, we have a very special toy which you can see me uh, holding up on the Facebook page. Uh huh. But it's the Poolin Wild Thing Chainsaw Kit. I've seen that. Now this is a toy chainsaw kit and it comes with gloves, a hard hat, and a battery operated toy chainsaw that makes sounds and everything. Okay. Once again, another item that we've had a lot of fun playing with. And I imagine, I imagine the youngsters would too. I mean, yes. just, just like uh, dad. Uh, the kit retails for $19.95. But, great price. But we're offering for anyone who buys $50 or more worth of merchandise, we're going to sell this toy kit for $10.95. Oh, wow. That's half price almost. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty, good, pretty good deal. Oh, of course, we've got the bumper hitch by the bumper hitch vice by Wilton. I I've seen that one on there as well. This this item has been flying off the counter. We've been doing very well with it. This is a um, this is a uh, vice that fits on the bumper hitch of a pickup truck. And uh, for the for the working man in mind, it um, it it's a good item to have. And we've been we've been selling a lot of them lately. Of course, we've got tool sets. Battery chargers, shop lights, flashlights, and once again, come to our web, come to our Facebook page at Carter Automotive, and check out our weekly offerings that we have for you. And I might suggest that folks uh, just just friend you uh, on their own Facebook page so that they can see your your regular posts, your ideas. Uh, uh, I've always found it pretty useful. They pop up there, and, and they're they're timely, they're convenient, and and good advice. So well, thank you, John. I we've recommend been, that. To we've folks. been having a lot of fun doing it too, and uh, kind of a new world for us, but we've been enjoying it and discovering it. Well, very good. Well, Tim, uh, anything else, or are we pretty much wound up for the day? That's or? about it. I just want to say that you know we've been around this town for ninety some odd years, helping people grinding them gears. You know, we're the best kept secret in this whole town. You got to come and see our deals go down at well. Carter's. <laughs> That's Carter's. We're Carter's. Carter's are over in Coffeeville. Thanks, John. Tim, thank you. Life is true.